Run it. All right. Welcome back to another episode of the Chips and Chops podcast. David and I started in an attic using a computer that David uses for schoolwork, but now we are in a studio thanks to our sponsor, Stockroom East. Stockroom East is a career, creative community space that offers internet, conference rooms, events, a podcast video studio, phone meeting rooms, 24-hour access, and lastly, an amazing community. With us today is Jordan Sittig, a man that took over sports coverage in the Michiana area while st still a teenager. Uh, Jordan, would you introduce yourself and say a little about bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Jordan Sittig. I'm 19. Uh, I run the Michiana Hoops, Michiana Football, and most recently I started uh, Michiana Flicks for photos. So, yeah. Awesome. So, Jordan, when did you get started in social media? Well, when I was younger, I was always a Notre Dame fan. Um, so at like 13, I created a Notre Dame sports page. Um, that took off pretty quickly. Um, what were you What were you posting on there? Everything? Well, it was, it was Notre Dame football at first, but then it came to basketball. And so like was, their scores and yeah, recruitments, scores updates, all that and stuff. All that. And that was called uh, ND Sports Today, right? Yeah. Well, awesome. I, yeah, no, I started off at ND Sports Daily. Um, ran into some legal trouble with Irish flight. I don't even know if I want to say it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I don't have the page anymore. Yeah. But I ran into some legal trouble. I had to change my name to um, ND Sports Today, which stuck. Yeah. So how long did you have the, you started at 13. You were in what, seventh grade? Yeah, something. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but like. Seventh grade, getting I, in trouble with the Notre Dame. With the law. Legal. Well, something like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I ran it for like four or five years. Four or five years. When I was like 16. Yeah. 16. So what made you start the account? Thought it would be fun. Uh, I was just a big fan of sports, like Notre Dame sports, and I just started it and didn't know where it'd take me. But, you know, at that time, uh, to grow that page, I did a lot of following and unfollowing, which is yep. a good thing. I don't know if you guys <laughs> Joey, know. Joey, Joey loves to do that. Oh, that, no, that's what we do for TikTok. But I we, did, if you become mutuals with that, you know, that you follow each other, I don't unfollow. But well, yeah, I did that, which is not good. But I gained a lot of followers from it. <laughs> but that was when it, Instagram was, it wasn't new, but like, you could get away and do that kind of things and people wouldn't even know what you're doing. That's when Instagram was like the app. It was, yeah, no, Instagram you know? was popping, I'm not going to lie. Now it's like TikTok, but I think back then it was really Instagram. It, it was fun, though, and uh, I did a lot of that. And I, um, you know, well, I'm going to talk about a little bit of personal stuff. For now. sure. But so when I was like, Seventh, eighth grade, or ninth grade, when I was doing that, that page completely took over my life. Really, really. Um, and uh, to a toxic way, like was it unhealthy or? Well, I was living with my mom, and she was battling cancer. At okay. The time. Well, it was it was my dad. I'd stay a week at my dad's, week at my mom's. So I'd go to my mom's, and at that time, I didn't even have service on my phone. We didn't have internet, nothing like that. So I'd have to go from my mom's house down to the school that was down in New Troy, and connect to their internet. And I sat down there all day for. You know, every day of the week, really, when I was at my mom's house. Posting stuff. Posting yeah. stuff on my phone, you know. And I didn't really, like, I was cool with everybody at school, but, like, I stopped, like, going out because, like, I needed internet. And, like, I was, like, invested so much into that page. Yeah. Like, it was really, like, not good, honestly. It wasn't really healthy. Um, so when I lost it, it was, like, a ble blessing in disguise because I started, like, going out and doing things and, like, going to games and all this yeah. and all that. Yeah, having, like, a social, yeah, social life. Yeah, I went to a Notre Dame game, a Notre Dame USC football game, and, like, I couldn't even enjoy the game, really, because I was so worried about my page, like, posting on my page and stuff because I didn't have service or anything. Yeah. You know, and... Yeah, yeah. it does seem like there's a lot of individuals out there who social media can kind of skew the perspective especially, of things. Especially when you're at that young of an age. You're not even... I mean, thirteen. You're yeah. just you. Ju you are just becoming a teenager. And getting, yours, like, it blew up pretty. You know, you said you got it to thirty four thousand before it got you know taken down. So I can imagine, you know, with all the you're a teenager, you're a young teenager, getting all that validation. I can imagine that would be hard to deal yeah, with. During that time, uh, you know, I saw you know every Notre Dame football player followed that page. Yeah, um, they'd be still, reposting I still and some, everything. I still have some of them on Snapchat and stuff, but it's like. I don't know. I spent so much time into that page. It was kind of disgusting in a way. Yeah. Like, was it monetized at all? No. It's the same thing as we'll talk about on Michigan. Yeah. I don't make no money. Mm -hmm. uh, passion. It was just this, passion. Yeah. Straight passion I project. I too invested in likes and stuff when on that on the Indies page. Like, I would delete posts if it didn't get enough likes. Oh, like, I was so yeah. invested in this page, you don't even understand. Yeah. Um, and I became toxic in a way that was, like, going 
with other Notre Dame pages, you know, I didn't like them because I was competing. It felt like <laughs> to gain, you know, I was, yeah, I, yeah. I was this invested in that page. And, you know, when my mom was bad on cancer and doing all these things and, you know, some, we had a rocky relationship at times and, um, I would have tried to escape, you know, that was kind of my escape just going on there. I'm not gonna lie. So. I mean, it's good to have an escape, but you got to have yeah. your, your barriers. Right. Yeah. Besides the, like the downs with the account, would you say there are any like really high moments or that you're grateful, um, that, you know, you did it? Well, it was, it was a good time. Like in the, in a way, like I was so invested, like, so yeah, I, to find that you can and be that you, passionate about something yeah. is, su- is super cool. And, you know, I would go to Notre Dame game and everyone would be like, say, what's up? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. the same thing it is with this Michigan Hoops page. Everyone, everyone knows who I am, it feels like. Yeah. Um, you know, so it was cool to talk to the players a lot. And I would do, um, you know, you know, a bunch of other things with it. And, you know, it was a, it was a good time. And I created a lot of connections there, which most of them I lost because I lost the page. But Yeah. yeah. You also, I mean, you learned how to navigate social media, right? Oh, yeah. To get to... Along, Sorry, no, you go ahead. That goes along with the Michiana pages now, because I know how to get, I know how to get interaction with things. So. Is like social media managing something you want to do? Like, what do you? You're in college, obviously, right? Yeah. Like, so, I, what do you? What do you? Are you majoring in? I'm majoring in sports management at the SMC, Southwestern Michigan College. So basically, kind of what you're, I guess, not completely what you're doing, but I mean, social media is a part yeah, of that. So you know, there's there's a bunch of options for me. I might want to get into like recruiting or. No, yeah, that's awesome. You know, I'm, I like sports, and that's what I want to do when I do it. That's what I'm gonna do. So. Yeah, it seems like you're you're really good at networking with people. Mm-hmm. I would say just like me reaching out to you, that was like the best first impression. You seem really enthusiastic, so that's awesome. Well, first of all, it's really cool what you guys are doing. Yeah, yeah. and I think you need to trace chase your dreams. And if there's something, you guys have the whole setup right here. Yeah, yeah no, this, this is, is a, a this is a W setup. Most people don't have this kind of thing when they. Yeah, I saw you guys started out sitting on your. Couch. Yeah, <laughs> I was in my attic or in my on my porch. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, and I didn't expect us to get into a space like this at all because I didn't, I'm going to be honest, I didn't want to put money into this. This is something I am really passionate about. I mean, about, we're, we're putting money into it once we figure out where it's going to go, but like yeah. putting it, putting all this money into it. Cause like, well, first of all, you guys, like I hate to give you advice. Yeah. Whatever, no, I mean, we're open to take yeah, any so advice. Like, I, you know, you should start hitting up, you know, I saw you got flexed by Grant. Yep. Mm-hmm. You should get Kellen on here. You should get Lane Media. Yep. That's what he was, that's what he was saying. Yeah. 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 There's a bunch of options for you guys. There's yeah, no. Of, you can hit Hoopers up. Yeah, no, no, yeah. We have a, I have a, I mean, in my notebook right here, I have, what, I think I have like 70 people that are options to yeah. get on, you know. And I'm Obviously. willing to, I wanted to do this, I thank you. Yeah, no. I know this will get a bunch of interaction. For sure. It'll get interaction for you, it'll get interaction for us, it's a win-win. Yeah, <laughs> especially for us. Um, So, when did you start Michiana football and then Michiana hoops? Well, I started Michiana hoops before Michiana football, Blake's junior year, that's how I got okay. because Blake, so I started the page, right, um, I was just wanting to start a page, kind of. Like, I don't know. To redeem like, yourself really, for Notre Dame? or the... No, oh, no. So, I'm a big high school fan. Like, yeah. when I was in high school, uh, I went to a very small school. I mean, yeah, you were at small school in Michigan, Michigan right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I was very invested in River Valley. That's where I went, River Valley yeah. basketball. I liked high school sports. I think high school sports is one of the best. I think it's honestly better than college sports. Yeah. Because it's so passionate. I mean, college is obviously passionate, but... It's more like personable like we go to school with these guys you know they're like they're people just our age you know teenagers yeah. that's what i like it's more like humane in a way i guess so blake blake uh blake wesley he uh i started the page he shouted me out which started this thing started yeah. the page gained a lot of followers from it so but yeah yeah so um why did you start it and then what was the process of starting it so when i started it i was just wanting to just create a page, honestly. I didn't have no idea where it was going to go. Yeah. I knew it would gain followers, but, um, you know. Yeah, I like to say. Page. When I created that page, I didn't know anything about Indiana sports. I'd like didn't to know. say I was in the first uh, 200. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know anything about South Bend Adams, uh, the yeah. Mishawaka, Marion. I didn't even know half the schools existed. Yeah. So yeah. I was Southwest Michigan. I know all my schools because that's where I went to school. But, you know, it grew, and I grew my love for the area over time. For sure. Well, because so, you had to, you had to branch out of that. Like, I mean, the well, small, the small area of Michigan, you have to branch out into a bigger. Well, it's Michigan. So yeah. I well, yeah. Mostly started out with it gets Indiana it into it, but too, yeah. Every, uh, most of my followers, are, nah, I feel like it's sixty forty. Indiana, really? Michigan. Huh. Yeah, I Michigan, would. Michigan's growing quick. That's good. My followers. Yeah, I was gonna say it seems kind of. Uh, I guess from my perspective, it seems like five seven four is a big part of it. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. So yeah. yeah. Out there to be. Yeah. I mean, because we have like. Yeah. The big schools. Yep. Adams, Riley, St. Joe. It's a bunch of rivalries, big yeah. things. 
Um, what did it take to grow the Michiana Hoops account to, uh, was it around 9,000, 8,000, 9,000 followers? Wait, right no, no, Hoops is almost at 10,000. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Michiana football is creeping up at 8,300. I just checked Ooh. this one. Um, uh, first of all, everybody in the Michiana area for basketball is really passionate about the area and everyone yep. loves it. Um, yeah. It grew quickly because I put so much time and effort into it like I do now. So. For sure. Well, yeah, because we obviously you obviously knew you had that passion for mm-hmm. media, co- like for that media and coverage. Yeah. That's that's good because like not some people like will have that goal, but they're just not like passionate about like for, reaching it. And obviously, Friday nights football right now. Um, I don't have Friday nights anymore. Yeah, I it's can't do it's a job. I sit down and post for five hours. So, no, that's and that's that's people hitting it? that's people hitting you up scores and stuff. Twitter, Twitter. Yeah. Twitter. Oh, I'm Twitter. Really, you know, Twitter. Well, Twitter and people. Um, there's like it's not just me. I you know. Uh, a lot of the prep pages, you know, there's Jim Peters preps. He does like Michigan City, New Prairie, Goshen News, big shout Goshen News. Um, Chuck Freebie, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah Chuck, I know Chuck Freebie. You know, we got to love 46 Game of the Week. <laughs> um, it's a combination of everyone. I couldn't do my page without Callan Hart, Hart mm-hmm. Callen Hartman. Uh, Lang Media, a lot of the other flicks by Grant. Yeah. Yep. JL Media. And NRK Media. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I can't forget it. Shots by Aiden. Yep. <laughs> uh, so there's like everybody, you know, and they all help. We're all cool. Like we're all cool with each other, which is nice. I can't create, um, you know, hate for anybody or, you know, you know, yeah, create sure. like, things because they help me out and I'll never do that. So. Yeah. And like, like what you're doing and kind of what we're doing is like pursuing our passions, right? Mm-hmm. Having a little passion they're, project. They're, Trying to create connections. You know, and Kellen works in Notre Dame football. Right yeah. Now, so. Yeah. I mean, you really are creating a community. That's awesome. Um, what is the day to day with the page? Um, well, with the pages, sorry. Michigan hoops is a little bit harder. I feel like because games are on each like different days of the week. There's yeah, football is just one day a week. That, um, that's probably easier for you because yeah, then you can but, have rest days. Yeah, so the football page is more like creating like content like week like some like uh, big games on the week. So I'll just create a page, to create a post, find all the info, post it up. But Friday nights are the busy days. Yeah. Uh, for Michigan football. For sure. Um, something I'm curious about is what would you say have been like the ups and downs with the Michigan hoops and Michigan football? Um, and then like who are the some of like the favorite people that you've met? Right, uh, you talk, you touched on Blake Wesley at the beginning. I don't have much problem with Michigan hoops, Michigan football, honestly. Yeah. It's become harder with my uh, – I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I have a panic disorder, anxiety disorder. Yeah. So, you know – Depression takes in too. I know mental health needs to be talked about. It does, for sure. Most people don't talk about it. Um, sometimes I'll lose interest in the page, to be honest with you. So I get, I go down sometimes. So it, the most of the battles with the page are keeping me motivated sometimes because school is hard for me. I graduated with a low GPA. Well, yeah. school is going to be hard when you are you have like no time really. Like you probably don't have much time. You get home from school or from your college well, classes, you got to get your homework done, but also you have yeah. all the stress of what the page is yeah, so, needing yeah. to be posted. Yeah, um, pushing out the Blake brand. Wesley, obviously, um, really cool with him. Uh, we played video games and stuff. You know, he's cool. yeah. a great guy. Um, JR, I've talked to him. Um, yeah. I don't know who else. I mean, there's a bunch of all the hoopers I'm cool with. So. Yeah. What would you say has been, like, your, your favorite moment with having the page? Um, was there a time like some game and you posted well, after you saw just, like connections wise because yeah. I, I hate to be like Blake's famous but like he's also just a regular person yeah yeah. Um, I think it's like creating the connection of like getting to sit I hate to be like that like he's like some you know high figure and all that yeah. it was cool to sit down and just talk with him um, at a basketball game me, yeah. him, JR, you know, stuff like that so I mean that's a cool no yeah you know that is something a lot of people forget is that most people are just like they're regular human beings. They just yeah, have. They, so they just. About it. Yeah, they just have their name known. Yeah, yeah, cool yeah and they're. You know, we talked about a lot about. I get to ask questions about the NBA. What's going on? Well, what Wells before he got drafted? Yeah. Before like how college basketball? Like who's the hardest player you guarded? Like I yeah. don't know that information. No, that is no, that is so cool. Yeah. Um, touching on the running the page and then dealing with mental health. How would you say is like. Do you take care of yourself with that, like some sort of? Um, you know, I'm totally open about mental health. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Should be. I think everyone yeah. should be. You know, you shouldn't be scared to go to see a therapist and stuff, and that's what I do. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's really helped. I just had a really bad panic attack a couple weeks ago. Uh, I don't know if you saw my Michigan football. I'm like, yo, I can't post tonight. <laughs> yeah. I was in the hospital. Uh, your panic attacks can lead me to think that I'm having something I'm not. And yeah. um, I got an updose of my medication recently, and that seems like it's helping a little bit. That's helping. Yeah. yeah. No, that's. So. 
but dude, I'm as long gonna, as you're as long as you're growing and getting better yeah obviously there's moments um it's hard to sit in classrooms sometimes and I've, I've developed social anxiety yeah. yeah um which you know i'm a very social person so it sucks for me but it's something that gradually has to get better you need to push yourself so yeah. for sure no that is awesome because um, I mean, there there is like the pushing yourself, but then there's also pushing yourself too far. And yeah, you don't it seems like you you, you know your you know your limits, and yeah. knowing your limits is something important for no, yeah, a lot of people. Is, I I would say I really like that's it's pretty inspiring how open you are to talk about yeah. struggles like that. Mm -hmm. And I would definitely say you know if everyone was like that, then you know it shouldn't be so stigmatized, right? Yeah. right if yeah. you got you got to find you got to find your person. Most people you don't even know have anything like that. Yeah, and it's very common. And yeah, I would agree. A lot of you I mean, know. you, for example, you obviously like people would think like you're living the life because you have, I mean, this follow edge. You go, so you go to a sporting event. And everyone's like, oh, Michigan Hoops, Michigan yeah. Hoops, come over here, come over here. Let's flick up. And it's like, you know, like you get that flick up. I mean, that probably gives you a little joy, but like also. Like, yeah, but you also don't. I don't want to put words in anyone's mouth, but you also don't want to just people to look at you for your brand. Yeah, I mean, it's it's cool. I, yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's cool. But I, I mean, I, yeah, I like it. It's like I put a lot of time and effort in what I'm doing. Yeah. So. Yeah. And Pretty you're doing good. people, right? People, right? Yeah, yeah. no, uh, we were going to touch on that. But uh, people recognizing your, yeah, yeah, yeah. your yeah. growth is important outside of the social media accounts. Um, what are some other uh, like hobbies that you're into? You know, like what makes you you besides the accounts? I'm going to be honest. I'm just revolved around sports. Yeah. yeah. Uh, watch a lot of college football. Watch a lot of sports. You're really invested in Notre Dame. Uh, yeah, I'm still a Notre Dame fan, obviously. Yeah. Um, I've grown my developed. I've developed really into a college football fan in yep. general, though. Um, like Notre Dame this year. So what, not really excited. Yeah. For, so have you ever thought about doing something like Michigan Hoops, but you do it for? Because I know, like, you can't really do it just on Notre Dame. That's is that why you got taken down because you were too touchy no, I got, on? I got it down. I'm pretty sure I was copyrighted. Um, yeah. You so I was immature. You yeah, know, I'm 16 years old, 15. I have 30,000 plus followers. So you're reposting someone else. Doing. You're reposting someone else's maybe or something. Yeah, I think I was using a picture I shouldn't have used. If oh, so. well, have you ever thought about like doing like maybe all the Indiana football, like an Indiana football team, like all their college team fan page or Michi mm, Michigan no. fan page or? Not you're really into that. You're more into high, high school. school. Well, okay. Well, first of all, people have asked me about doing like an all of Indiana high school thing. That would be a lot. I can't do that. Yeah, no, that's yeah. a lot. Michigan is enough for me. This is the love for this is the area I live in. So this yeah. is all I'm interested in right now. Uh, so yeah, you got to stay where you love your yeah. where your love is, no, where no, your heart no. is. And you've blown up like locally. So yeah, I that's... don't want to ever feel like uh, how I did with MD Sports. Yeah, yeah. And we're so invested. In. So, yeah. yeah, no. So that definitely was probably a blessing in disguise. I mean, it opened the door to what I'm doing now. To what you're doing now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is. So we'll see. You know what happens next. So right you there. were talking about how like. It, it's not monetized at all. No, you're making no I'm money off of it. Passion. You're just doing it for passion. Yep. But now you opened up a whole clothing line, right? Mm -hmm. You got some clothes. Yep. Is that is that doing well for you? Yeah. Uh, well, I created it and I gained like two thousand dollars. So no, that's cool. yeah. yeah, no, that is awesome. Um, so going back to how you said you're just super passionate about sports. Besides, you know, being a big high school fan. You know, are you into the NFL, NBA, MLB? Yeah, I'm a big baseball fan. I played baseball in high school. Okay. Fan. Um, what position were you? I played first base. My first base. Year. Yep. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Um, do you still play or anything? Just no. No. I'm, I'm 19. I'm just college. Yeah. I'm college stuff. Like I didn't play football in high school and nothing like that. Yeah. I was a little bit scared of getting hurt growing up. Yeah. yeah no. Was, obviously. Yeah. I was a. I don't know if I can say P-U-S-S. -S. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was. So I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what are some like? Do you have any other sort of passion projects that you want to start soon? You started the Michiana Flicks page. Yeah, um, I started the Michiana Flicks page, and that was just me wanting to create some of my own stuff. Did you? Uh, yeah. What went into? You know, did you have to get a camera, and then you know, yeah. we just talked to Grant. No, I like, saw you have one of those. Uh, it's the camera Grant wants actually the one with the screen on it. Well, I don't no, know what they're he called. He doesn't want that camera. No, no, he said. Oh, it's it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a set six hundred dollar camera. It's a starter camera. Oh. Lane Media actually gave it to me. Oh, oh. No, that's so awesome. That's see, that's connections right there. Yeah. Lane Media is awesome. I love that dude so much. We got a kid now. Um, shout out to that Lane guy. Media has a kid. Oh yeah. Oh, good He's for him. Great. Works at the South Bend Cubs. Love that dude, man. No, that's awesome. Um. Yeah. So I was, I was just talking here, but he yeah. gave me that. Gave me that uh, camera. And so Southwestern Michigan College, they have basketball this year. And um, I know all the guys on the team. Most of them went to like, cool. Niles yeah. High School in that area yep. where uh, 
I went to RD, so I knew him kind of because that's my area. Um, and now I'm really close with their, close with their head coach, um, Rodell, played at Iowa. Hmm. Wow. Um, big dang dude, coached at Drake, Providence, a bunch of other schools. And um, so, you know, I got the camera, and now I'm just going to take pictures of them, and they may, they might pay me, they said. So it's just something I wanted to do. I like I fell in love. I've hung out with Kellen a bunch of times when he goes to games, takes pictures. It's really cool. And yeah. Art. Kellen, yeah. Kellen and all them, they work like his edits. He works for like six hours on those things. Yeah, Grant was talking. It's it's a lot of work. Yeah. No, yeah, they're I just started uh, you know, after talking to Grant, following all those pages and it's mm-hmm. oh, it's genuinely incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. Right. It's something I don't know how you can capture something like that, but um it's definitely a talent, you know, you gotta have that attention to detail and they definitely have that. Um what would you say are some of your short-term and then long-term goals just in life and then also with your brands? Um, first of all, um, me and my dad are really close ever since yeah. I lost my mom Yeah. and stuff like that. Well, we were always close, but um, definitely making him proud with yeah. his graduating college. Yeah. First of all, he wants to see me do big things. Um, I'm adopted, which is another story I'm not going to get into, but you know, most of those people in my, you know, biological side of the family didn't go to college didn't do much yeah so that's something i want to do graduate college and maybe go to western because i graduate this year i'm on okay i just i got 17 credit hours right oh is smc a juco oh it's a oh oh, i didn't know that it's a two year uh i got a lot on my plate right now 17 credit hours plus i'm doing this so i gotta focus on school yeah something i want to do in long term you know doors will open up for me with my pages and things like that and have you ever thought about like selling it I mean, I mean, maybe not selling it, but like giving it to someone, having someone else run it, or Hell no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, do anything like that, man. I, I, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, understand. And then you know, would you ever want to, you know, get in the newspaper? You know, become some sort of journalist? Are you just like in social media? You know, uh, you you could you know you could be like uh, Colin Cowherd have a show talking about sports or something yeah, like first that. First of all, you know, I. You couldn't run this type of page on, like, Google, like, on a website. Yeah. This has to be something, like, I'm doing. And, you know, most of these people, Twitter's cool, too, but most people don't have Twitter. I'm going to be honest. I, I, don't, I don't have Twitter. Yeah, Especially people room, our age. You can go into a room and ask, like, 20 people how many have Twitter. It's probably, like, three or four. And it's the people that are, like, 40 and up. It's, right? main, it's, mainly, it's mainly athletes that have it because they have to get it for college coaches. But they might not, not use it. Yeah, so, like, they do sites and stuff. That's not, like, the media that needs to be today. Yeah. Like it's it's Instagram and stuff. Twitter, Twitter's cool, I guess. But like I said, um, Twitter, Instagram, everyone has Instagram. Yeah. And then, would you ever want to move out of the Michigan area, or are you so passionate about you know where you live and covering what's here? It depends what kind of options open up um, once I get my degree. And, you know, option things will open up for me. For know? sure. It, I really don't. So you know. said you wanted to transfer to Western after yeah, you get your yeah. two year degree. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Um. Yeah. So, and then just short term goals with life. You said like what, like uh, continuing having a really good relationship with your dad. Is there anything else? Um, graduating. Graduating. Myself, but uh, going to Western, I take things day by day now because of my anxiety and stuff. Yeah, for sure. You never I know. I can't look ahead like that because that triggers is one of my triggers. Thinking ahead too much. That's understandable. Yeah. Um, you know, I hope people talk about mental health. Like I said. Um, yeah, you can passion. Uh, like you know, I do, and like you guys are doing right now. Which yeah. Is really cool. Um, most people, you know, maybe not. Yeah, no. Some we just do it because part of, part of it is the mental health of not feeling you can reach out and share your story because yeah. everyone has a story. Like the Blake Wesley topic you were talking about, how people look at him as an athlete, but really deep down, like he has a story that he may want to share. So if he listens, uh, we'd love to have you on. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but like everyone has that story that they want to share and they just need to find that platform to share it. And whether it's, it doesn't have to be through us. It has to be through, through you, like share your story, whether it's on social media, whether it's through something you create, you got to find that passion and yeah, um, pursue that passion. I a hundred percent agree with that, David. I, I would say that, uh, you know, I've talked about this on the podcast before and with David, um, it was on like eight, seven, eight months ago, we discussed it. And for me, it's been, I've always liked listening to podcasts. I've always mm-hmm. found, you know, like just like conversations. Yeah, no so podcasts. yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, yeah. I, I that's, a that. that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. We're impulsive. I guess. Yeah. No, I think <laughs> that's, it's like, to me, it's so cool that you could, people would want to listen to you having a conversation with right? someone else about them, like telling about their, yeah. And 
I've talked about this, uh, especially with David before, like um, going into high school, I was pretty shy, even up to last year and this year is pretty shy more. I could say it's mental health. It's also just like, like you said, social anxiety, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to speak out. People are going to say, oh, I'm weird. What's, you know, no, because that that is that is what a lot of people do. A lot of people then will share out and just hate on you for no reason. And but there's most people will I would say most people if you're yourself, you know, most people will love you. So yeah, it's different though because I have a panic disorder. Yeah, yeah. So, and I also have health anxiety. Yeah. So once I have a panic attack, you think you're having a heart attack. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's different. So there's a bunch of things that go involved with mental health. Yeah. And, you know, shyness may not be one. I don't know if it is, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I was just uh saying how uh to start this page. It's kind of like a getting over your fears in a way, right? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you're online, everyone, anyone can see this, you know, yeah. anyone can look at your page, anyone can look at our YouTube, Spotify, any of the social medias that we have. And but it's, anyone can judge you, but everyone can love you. Yeah. So no, you got to understand that not everyone's going to love you. Yeah. yeah. I have my haters. I, you know, everyone has their haters. Probably. Yeah. You know, yeah. So most, so you, some people don't like you. No need to, you don't even know it. Yeah. yeah. Or <laughs> we people we've never talked to might not like us, you know, yeah. uh, or they'll just think of us as the podcast, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, we're just. I'm Joe. He's David. You know, we have we're very different people who just are best friends. Yeah, you know? but you know, you have like I do. I have a ton of supporters. Most people like me. Yeah. yeah. You know, I to the area. I want to talk about one more thing. Yeah. Yeah. For the area, um, you know, my biggest thing I like for my page right now is the fact that so many college coaches follow it, and you know, I'm getting people offers like not me just personally. Obviously, yeah. they work on their game. You're connecting. And all that. Yeah. It's connecting the dots, um, posting things and. Coaches hit people up, hit players up, and that's really cool. It's one of the things I really love is getting – my goal really most of the time is just making these kids get offers and go on because this area is one of the best areas in Indiana or Michigan that's not talked about. It really Indiana, is. There's a lot of great athletes There's a here. lot of high schoolers, I mean, for any sports that have a lot of talent and could go D1, right? For baseball, you have the Jace Lee, RJ Cromartie. They're going to Notre Dame. That's yeah. incredible. I'm a baseball fan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I see it, but I just don't have time to run a Michigan baseball game. Yeah. yeah. There's, there is one, but we'll not talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, they're good players. Yeah. Jace can really swing the bat. Yeah, no, there's um, there's a lot of talent in Michigan, right? Yeah, but like I said, Indy Star and all those pages, you know, they don't give enough love to Northern, Northern Indiana. Um, so. Yeah. Indy Star. Indy Star? Indy Star. That's like, like the main thing. Indianapolis Indy. Indy. Oh, like, that's Michi- that. That's like. Um, Travel? No, that's like. Uh, Mr. Indiana basketball and all that. Yeah, oh, all okay. that. Okay. Yeah, I've it's seen more that. More Indianapolis. Maybe you need to come out with a uh, Michigan hoops like uh, awards. <laughs> I just started <laughs> rankings for football. That would be season. awesome. Oh, you started your own ranking system? Yeah, do you not oh. follow, bro? No, I do. I do. But like, I don't be on. I don't be on Instagram like that anymore. I used. I like was big into your page, Michigan hoops. Oh yeah. Like that. That that's. I don't really. I'm not really big on Michigan football, but I like, feel you. Yes. Yeah, but like, like, I still follow it. But like. I, every, like, Friday, Saturday, I'd look up Michigan Hoops yeah. just to see the scores of certain yeah, games. Yeah. No, but. It's, yeah, some people don't like, you know, some people are just into one and not the other. It's yeah, no. This is how it's going to be, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, and then, I mean, like, just for day, like, basketball's been our favorite sport besides, like, golf for you, David, so... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yo, hey, no, Michigan okay. Golf on the Yo, way. Michiana it may it may not be ran by him. Not affiliated with Michigan Michiana Michiana Bowling on the way. Listen, though, it was fun talking to you guys. Though. Yes. I really yeah. It. No. Um. David, is there anything else you'd like to add? Or? I think we touched everything. If there's anything else you wanted um, to share. Yeah, Jordan, could you tell them where they can find all your things? Well, I'm pretty sure most yeah. of the people on uh, here. <laughs> it's all on Instagram. I mean, I have Twitter too, but I don't really post anything on there. I made the pages, but I I use it for info most of the time and all that. But uh, at Michiana Football on Instagram, at Michiana Hoops on Instagram, at Michiana Flicks, which I just began on Instagram. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, thank you guys for uh, watching another episode. Um, check us out on Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, Spotify, all uh, Chips and Chops Podcast. Chips and Chops Podcast going up. Yep. <laughs> all right. Peace. Peace. That was awesome. That was.